Hey, what's up guys? It's Tuesday and we are five days out from the Toronto Pro Qualifier, which is Maya's second show of the year. She just competed for the first time in the last four years. Last weekend, she won the show, she won the overall. So I talked to a lot of the judges, got a lot of positive feedback uh, from the judges. They were all super excited about seeing Maya on stage and what she's, the future that is projected for Maya. So when I first saw her, um, I think it was here on Insta. I think it was on Instagram. Yeah, I came across her and immediately just seeing her shape, seeing her physique, I knew like she was something like amazing. And you guys know I train you know, Valerie, so I'm really familiar with figure the division. I've been a fan of the figure division for over, oh my gosh, it's got to be like 15 years. So a long time. So I've seen the, the division sort of um, evolve over the years. And when I saw Maya, I knew she was built for this division. So it was amazing to see last year, sorry, last week, how well she did at the show. And uh, I'm very excited for this weekend, the Toronto Pro Qualifier to see her compete. And uh, we'll see what's in store for Maya for the rest of the year. So today is Tuesday. Today's gonna be her last shoulder workout. So we're gonna do that workout. This workout is gonna be her normal shoulder workout. We haven't really pulled back on training or anything yet. Even for last week with her doing that show, because the priority is the Toronto Pro Qualifier to earn her pro card. We literally did no manipulations for that show. She just walked into that show like it was a regular off training day. When she got off stage, it's funny, she was actually at the show and she texted me and she's like, when I get home, should I go do cardio? <laughs> so it was just a regular day. Um, so this week we'll do a few minor changes with seeing how she looked on stage last week. I don't think we need to change too much because the package that she presented after speaking to the judges, they were like, don't change a thing. So. We got a lot of good feedback and I'm very excited about this week. I never went over side laterals with you, right? No. We never went over side laterals. No. no your form is perfect. You don't even need to change anything. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really change a thing. Steak with side laterals where like your scapula plane, you're in your back. Yeah. It's almost like shoots out like a Y like this. A lot yeah. of people, instead of like lateral raising like here, they'll lateral raise back here and that's not good. It's not good for the health of your shoulder, your scapula is jammed up, where you want to almost be like in a Y formation, which is what like you're doing. Like a little off too. Yeah, right? A lot of people, they'll, they'll go to lateral and they'll want to be like, like yeah. here, and it's not good. Okay. Your form's very good. Who was the first person that ever brought you to the gym? Was it your mom or your brother? Or? It was funny because um, when, like growing up, my mom was homeless with us. So we didn't have a place to stay. We barely, she barely could put food on the table. Yeah. So one day she looked at me, she's like, I'm gonna do a show and I want you to see how determined I am to finish it. And I remember like walking into the room and she was like crying. She's like, I don't know how, how I'm gonna like, finish it right um, so at the time she was my father wasn't in the picture yeah and she couldn't find the babysitter to watch my little sister and she decided to bring my little sister on stage because she couldn't find a babysitter so you know the picture was yeah I've like, seen the picture yeah because, that's uh, cool yeah so just seeing her like get through that just gave me the courage to like push through anything like that came my way so, yeah everything so. else when you see someone go through that it's perspective yeah seems easy, right? Yeah. And you see how much someone else had to struggle, yeah. raise you guys, take care of you guys. Yeah. yeah. So everything else seems, yeah. seems easy. 
So yeah. whenever it comes to like being hungry, like being hungry on prep for me doesn't doesn't face me because I know yeah. what you know the other part of yeah. what it actually. It's all it's right? all comes down to perspective, right? Yeah. I just had another client who had like done in previous preps done like a lot of cardio. Yeah. Where it's like doing two hours of cardio a day, having been forced to do that in a prep, and then like realize you don't maybe have to do that. Yeah. Everything else is easy. Yeah. It's perspective, right? Exactly. Because he had to do two hours, now 45 exactly. minutes is easy. Yeah. But without having done that or struggled through something, you yeah. never had that perspective. Exactly. Yeah, so that's cool. Because if your body starts burning through food, you might start losing weight. So now you have to add a little more fat to slow down the digestion or, you know, back off cardio. Yeah. So you kind of got to take it day by day, day by day. That's why when a coach ever gives you like, oh, here's your like next five days, your peak week protocol. It doesn't like, it's like, uh, She's gone in that before. Yeah, She's right? Got a, actually two weeks out. Oh, two week protocol. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> the body can change, right? Like so quickly. Yeah, and you have to be able to pivot. Yeah. It's very sensitive in, the, in those last weeks, right? Yeah, the lower the body fat, the lower the body fat goes, the less reserves you have, the flatter you can get. Sometimes the more, you know, insulin sensitive you are. So it's like the body, you know? Yeah, yeah, pay attention. Good. Really good. Good. That's it. It. Good job. I'm a cold there's super, super wide, but it's that she has such developed shoulders, right? Yeah, so it makes it look like Yeah, the shoulders are so developed. Yeah, they're so capped. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I'm like Dave doesn't feel like I'm on prep like, I, like yeah. I feel like I need to be hungry like yeah yeah you dieted pretty hard there at the end though like, it was pretty low calories you used to lower than that they were like 1500 she's still lower yeah not, not in a good way but she's still lower yeah yeah, yeah cause it's like 1500 is pretty low especially when you're training hard doing the cardio you know, you're burning a lot. Your expenditure is pretty high, right? Yeah. You have a lot of muscle too, so your muscle yeah. is going to be using, utilizing a lot of calories. So one kilo. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Cardio. Like a, like a quick inside, like the cardio was so high, calories were so low. I just think it's just not. What ends up happening is, I think like coaches, just people, yeah, coaches in general just overlook. I think like hormonal balance, and then like if you diet that hard and do that much cardio. At what point, like your stress levels, your cortisol levels are higher that are fighting against you. Yeah. And then like your sleep is off. 
So, like, for example, when we look at like mu like muscle gains, or we use like strength and performance as a massive gauge, mm -hmm. right? So, like, how are we performing? Yeah. Why, when it comes to right, that's a performance view, which will dictate your training and muscle gains. Well, yeah. then, why, when it comes to like body fat and everything else, we just throw out the window, like what state our body is in? You know, it's like yeah. we don't focus on sleep. We don't like we just starve ourselves. Is it efficient? Because your body needs to be efficient to be able to operate properly. Yeah. So I think there's a fine line about finding that sweet spot where, okay, you know, obviously things are gonna take a hit a bit. You're not gonna sleep as sound as you did in the off season. Yeah. But if we can find that balance where you're still sleeping, you're still recovering from your workouts, what's the point in giving someone a thousand calories and then they can't train? They can't sleep and they go to the gym and they're like, oh, I'm tired. You know, then you're sitting on the couch all day because you have no energy. So now you're not burning calories because you're just sitting around so i think it's about focusing on performance focusing on efficiency mm -hmm. sleep like if everything's efficient and good i think everything's just going to work that much better yeah. right like you don't you don't see any like uh olympic athletes or anything like that like look how like a lot of them are in great shape they're not like what they're not like eating low carbs and low calories they're eating like machines they're eating to fuel yeah and they're lean they're like so why we have this like idea of like we need to eat yeah. like what we're we're training every day yeah right like yeah. right up easy good right through good job good work it's like good by far the best breath it's good i don't think there was never a time where we were like oh shoot like we need to uh push or make up for lost time yeah. everything was yeah. very smooth and steady right yeah. that's what you want right you don't you want it to be like this the progress yeah you don't want it to be like progress no progress progress no progress it's just smooth the whole way it's kept getting better and better week after week yeah and i think we're going to see that again between last week and this week you're going to get you're going to be a little better yeah. you know i'm excited so yeah it's very exciting it is funny though how you said like Sometimes you're like, I feel like I should be doing more or like I need to do harder, you know? Because as like, athletes, yeah. we always want to we always want to make sure we're the hardest worker, you know what I mean? Like you're Yeah. So it's uh but sometimes it's a combination of like working hard and smart and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Doing the extra things maybe that other people aren't doing, like yeah. whether that's like mobility work, stretching, whether that's like seeing all the different therapists, massage, right? So it's yeah. like the training's the fun stuff, right? Training's yeah. fun, right? Yeah. It's like, I think training's easy. Cause it's, yeah. I love it, right? But also so. like my body feels fresh. Like it doesn't feel like it's dying. Tired or yeah. beat up, yeah. Yeah. I need to see you stand next to like pros with the amount of muscles some of them have. Yeah. But like, I'm pretty confident you're gonna be able to go to Olympia and like be competitive. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it's like it's the weight of muscle they use too. Just the genetically, the insertions, the symmetry. You just have it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? This, you have the stage presence with it. So it's yeah, like, you just have it. You know how. And then you're posing. You know how to move. You know how to walk. You know, like everything. The face matches the body. Like everything just. It, falls, yeah. it just. You know. I yeah, did like, even. Like, I did even like look at myself once this prep. Like I don't. Yeah, she lets me. So yeah. when I got on stage, I'm like, fuck. What do I look like? What do I look like? Because <laughs> I didn't know, right? She, yeah. She would send you the check-ins. She would send me the same check-ins. You know, I live with her. Yeah. And. Like I'll go over like if there's anything in training I want to do. She has you for the, the nutrition, so it's yeah. like this combo of perfect. So it's yeah, like, she gets up, she realizes like, hey, like we're gonna change my diet here. If we adjust that, we adjust it so we can hit more side delt. So we just want to yeah. make her wide, wide. Yeah. So I know her combo isn't naturally wide. Yeah. We're just trying to give that more illusion. Show that. Yeah, because her yeah. waist is super small. Tiny. It's crazy. And then she has the flaring quads. Yeah, the side shot is.
Do you feel more connected with a little bit more food or do you feel your body's just burning through it during your workouts? Uh, definitely like fuller because it doesn't take much to get me full. So even on the low carb days, you were still, still getting I'm a pump. So, like super full. Yeah, yeah like, just that, hyper responder. Yeah, they have that naturally round muscle. It's just their, from their mom. Yeah. So it's like even flat, she doesn't look flat. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's I'm flat, like, but it, like it, it's still, still yeah, it's crazy. Cool. It'll be interesting when we have more time, like between shows, to experiment yeah. after the show to like really. I, I wouldn't want to risk it. Yeah. Like I just feel like the look you brought is so perfect for figure. Yeah. But after the show, we can just experiment with like a couple crazy high days, just see what happens. Yeah. Just for like a crazy, awesome. crazy like crazy. photo shoot or something, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Just to learn this response. Yeah. The, the the risk right now, I just feel is too high. You know, you yeah. you look perfect, so we don't want to. That's the thing with my body is like it does not take much to get me. Yeah. Like I hyper respond almost. Anything. Yeah. I noticed like even if we added cardio five minutes or we added a little bit of carbs or it's yeah, like yeah. you responded very yeah. well. Even supplements. Like, oh, I mean, very quick. So well. You see it like that, you know? When she started taking the sleep HD and she wakes up, she's shredded. Like, oh, her sleep HD is sleep so good. Like, she'll, so she'll take it, I'll be next to her. Get pre <laughs> No. Sleep HD. Pre HD. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's crazy how much of a difference you can make on some people. Yeah, she, she would take it and then like, I'd look next to me like five minutes later, out. So, yeah, it's probably just, she probably woke up, felt like that too, just because like, probably reduced cortisol. The deeper your body gets in sleep and rest, yeah. the more you dry out, the more you, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so she wakes up drier every morning. Yeah.